Hi, welcome to my tutorials on Euclid's Elements, Book 3. This video presentation is going to be on Proposition 17 of Book 3, which describes the methods necessary to take a given point and a circle and to draw a line such that it just touches the circle. So to do that, the first thing we need is the center of the circle. So we get that using Proposition 1 of Book 3. Now we connect A and E, and where it intersects the circle, we will label it as D. Draw a circle with E as the center and AE as the radius. Now we draw a line perpendicular to ED at the point D. And where it intersects the outer circle, we label that F. We connect F and E, and where it intersects the inner circle, we label B. And now we draw the line from B to A. And AB touches this, touches this inner circle. To prove that it is touching this inner circle, first let's look at these two lines, AE and EF are equal because they're radii of the same circle. BE and DE are equal since they're the radii of the same circle. Now if we look at these two triangles, FED and EBA, we've already established that EB and ED are equal. So that's the short side of this triangle and the short side of this triangle. We have also shown that EF is equal to EA, which is the long side of this triangle and the long side of that triangle, and it also has a common angle in the center. So according to Proposition 4 of Book 1, if you have a side angle side of two triangles, they are equal. So these two triangles, this one here and this one here, are equal. Now, if they're equal, they're equal in all respects, which means all the angles are equal. Now, FDE is a right angle because that's the way we constructed it. So as if FDE is a right angle, then EBA is a right angle. So here we have EBA is a right angle. And according to Proposition 16 of Book 3, if we have a diagonal or a radius, with a line that is perpendicular to its endpoint, then that line just touches the circle. So hence, AB touches this circle. And that is how you draw from a given point a line that touches a circle. And that concludes this video presentation. To see the next presentation, just click the next button.